let's face it, if we haven't got each other, what have we got? So when a local festival comes along, it's the perfect opportunity to embrace the community and stop to say a simple hello to each other. Hello, Mel. Well, hello there. <laughs> The Yarraville Festival takes place in the village every year. It's so close to the CBD, but you'd never know it once you're here because it has all the heart and warmth of a small country town. Well, Yarraville, it's known for its charm. Event organiser Charlie Copa says the Sun Theatre is a perfect example. And back in the day, nothing stopped you from seeing a good flick. What they did in the old days was if you came with your babies, they'd, they'd put your babies in a separate room and they'd give you a number and if your baby started crying during the film they would put your number up on the screen so that you could go out and tend to your baby. <laughs> no way! Yeah. There's nothing like a bit of public it's humiliation, is there? Great <laughs> idea. The festival is testament to the great local talent in Melbourne's inner west. And speaking of talent, check out these furry friends. Very cute. Hello, sweetheart. And her body. The crowd favourite. The rare Yarraville Tiger. There's heaps going on out here, but being the shopaholic that I am, I just have to check out some of the shops in the village. First, Creative House, owned by Anna Cecile, who has been here for 12 years. Well, I just walked around one day and I thought, wow, look at these buildings. They're amazing. No one's doing anything with them. This could be a great shopping strip. Right she was. So she developed this quirky little store filled with lots of goodies. The first thing you'll notice is the incredible chandeliers. These are inexpensive, so they're not, you know, they won't cost you the earth. Next, the beautiful scents from all the yummy skincare. Smell that. It's just amazing. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, no. Now for a little taste of Africa at Salah's African Art and Jewelry Centre. The jewellery here is all handmade by Salah himself. I learned from my father. My father taught me and my father taught by his father. The most important thing for Salah is to keep the family tradition alive. Because I'm teaching my son now, I'm trying also to teach my daughter but she likes uh, only to design jewelries and to wear jewellery. She's not alone there. Check out some of these pieces. And your house in Africa, does it look like yeah, that? Yeah, it is exactly like this one. Handcrafted straight from the heart, including these incredible rings and this one-of-a-kind ebony wood necklace. Wow, I'm all decked out. So now you know what the good people of Yarraville have to offer. So head in the west where there's no excuse for not stopping to say... Hi! <laughs> Coming up... We're scoring touchdowns with this week's Mates Rates. James has eaten his way through Footscray, Mel indulged in some retail therapy, and MJ even clowned around. But how about something for all you sports fans? With over 55 sports clubs in the area, you can try anything from AFL footy, soccer, cricket, tennis, Hockey, archery, basketball, even baseball. But today, I'm going to try something just that little bit different. Outrigging. The Maribyrnong is Melbourne's second major river and has over 24 kilometres of flat water where you can learn how to paddle. I hope the 24 kilometres is just wrong. Terry Hines from the Footscray Canoe Club is my paddling partner. Well, we offer your three come and try days. We've got different crafts. We've got the outriggers, we've got the kayaks, we've got the surf skis, we've got plastic boats. We take you out in the boat, find the right boat for you, give you the instructions how to manage the boat, how to paddle, and so that you can enjoy yourself. Oh. We want people to join it. It's, it's, it's a great sport. Come on, Coxie, get with the program. Well, I can't do everything at once. Now for something different again. Gridiron. The Western Crusaders are the local team. And boy, do they mean business. 
Let's go, Crusader. Come on, fire up. Game time, game time. Knock him in the dirt. Let's go. Woo! Club president Scott Hayes gives me the lowdown. You know, with league, how you've got six tackles to move the ball length of the field. Yep. With Gridiron, you have four tackles to move the ball 10 yards. If you get your 10 yards, you get another set of downs, another four downs, or you turn the ball over if you don't get your 10 yards. We usually play every week once the season starts. So we'll play from, uh, from June right through to September, and the juniors play from then. You know, we'll have guys as young as 15 to guys that are 35 pushing 40. Time to get you kitted up, son. All right, mate. All right. Good heavens, I didn't know it so much. I'm sure this is perfectly safe. <laughs> what are you laughing? What is this, an extra small? Yeah, I know, I yeah. know. Arm up. Arm up. There we go. I'm absolutely exhausted. I just need to sit down for 10 minutes. Time for the game to kick off. All right, boys, we've got a new lineman, Coxie. Yeah. We got We're this! We got this! Yeah, yeah. Eye backs, 24 lead, on one. Ready, ready? <laughs> what did he say? Now, did he say on one? And two! Get two hot! Touchdown! Okay, boys, time to stop them. Right here, right now. Okay, on, split boys. 44, slant right, cover three. Ready, 50! Hey! 22, jet right. Boys, 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 I heard every word. What'd they say? <laughs> I don't understand any of it. Oh. Come on, Cox, you get your head in the game. Right, right, right. Black 20, black 20, hut! Yeah, 36, 20. Oh, 36, 48, the three numbers, triple O. Oh. <laughs> Huddle round and listen up, because this week's mates rates will have you kicking goals and touching down somewhere special. Ready, ready, ready! Oh, take it easy, boys. You scared the daylights out of me.